In this session, we're going to have a look at color theory and how it relates to websites and the presentation of information. We know that color sets the mood, it sets the feeling, and it makes websites more appealing. So the way in which we apply color is very, very important. Before we get involved with making color palettes, we really need to understand the theory behind color. One of the most used applications is the Adobe Color Wheel. This is a very good free resource available from Adobe to help you make color palettes that you can then apply to your websites to make them balanced and appealing to the end users. When we talk about color, we really need to understand the following three things. We need to understand about shade, tone and tint and the original color hue. So let's start by talking about hue. Hue comes from the primary colors. What are primary colors? They are the red, the blue, and the yellow. All other colors can be made by mixing various quantities of these colors. Primary colors cannot be made by mixing each other. So therefore, red, blue, and yellow are unique colors. When we refer this to the color wheel, you'll actually notice that red, yellow, and blue are distinct within the wheel. These primary colors and various quantities of these colors make up the rest of the colors in this color wheel. By mixing primary colors, you can actually create secondary colors. So these secondary colors are things such as orange, violet, and green. If we mix red and yellow together, we make a secondary color orange. So if we mix yellow and blue, we'll make a green. And if we mix red and blue together, we can make a violet color. When you refer back to the color wheel, you'll actually see that between the red and the blue, you can see the purples, the pinks. Between the yellow and blue, you see the various shades of green into the aqua colors. And between yellow and red, you see the orange shades occurring. When you start mixing secondary colors with primary colors, you start developing what are called tertiary colors. These tertiary colors complete the color wheel with the 12 basic colors. There are six tertiary colors that are created by mixing primary colors with an equal part of the adjacent secondary color. So therefore red and orange will make a red orange. A blue violet will make a violet blue, or you can have a red violet color. When you put these 12 colors next to the Adobe color wheel, you can see how the colors are developed by using different quantities of the primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. This leads us to the next section, which is about tint, shade, and tone. Tint, shade, and tone are created from the original hue. The original hue can be considered the colors that are around the outer edge of the color wheel. So hue is the original color. Then as we move towards black on the left-hand side, we move from 0% of black added to the hue to 100% of black added to the hue. In doing this, you'll actually transition from the original hue color to a darker black type hue. When we add tone, we're actually adding gray to the hue. And when we're adding a tint to a hue, we're adding white to the original hue color. This can be seen in this diagram with the hue on the outer edge, a tint, the quantity of white being added to the original hue, the tone is the amount of gray being added to the original hue and the shade is the amount of black being added to the original hue. So if we're looking for darker colors, we would add shades to it. If we're looking for lighter and softer colors, we would add a tint to it. And between the tint and the shade, by adding white and black together, you get a gray. You can add a gray tone to it as well. But this leads us to the question of why we don't see black and white on the color wheel. Well, in short, the black is a complete absence of all color and white is the presence of all colors simultaneously. And there'll be some people that ask about, well, where are the browns in the color wheel? Well, brown is basically a dark orange or a neutral red hue, a composite color made by combining red, black and yellow to generate the brown colors. Now, this information helps us better understand how the color wheel works. You'll notice that on the outer edge of the circle, we have the hue. As we move to the center, we are adding a tint to it. In the next lecture, we'll actually look at more about how to use the color wheel and how to create color swatches 
look at complementary colours, and look at how we can use the colour wheel to help improve the visual hierarchy of the websites that we create. So I hope you found this introduction to colour theory useful. Give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and also have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful tutorials on website development and colour theory.